What's going on guys? It is Tinko White here for Team Card Fighters United and here for you. I've got another deck profile that we're going to go over today. And today we're doing my second favorite clan that I've used so far. My second main, Morikumo. Morikumo being the second of the ninja clans besides Nubatama because they're like, you know, Nubatama is too strong. Let's get something else. And they're like, we we'll get more ninjas. So they got more ninjas. And they're like, hey, remember those old ninjas? We'll get those back. So they did. That's that. On to the deck profile. But with this deck, I actually run the Ride Chain for Magatsu. So we're going to start off with our starter, Stealth Dragon Magatsu Wind. I'll explain more of that once I get to the next part of the Ride Chain. And for this deck, you can run, you know, any setup triggers that you like. But what works best for me is for heal and then just crit everything. Always. Always just crit everything. Because stands aren't going to help you that much in this deck, seeing that most of the cards you're going to get aren't going to stay for long. And draws could be useful. You could switch out four of the crits for a draw, and it would still work very well, give you a little more guard power. But this deck is kind of rushy, in my opinion. So uh, I just see like the crits would help you out in better situations. So now onto the greed ones. On the Grade 1 lineup, we will start off with, of course, the next part of the Ride Chain, Stealth Dragon Magatsu Breath. Four of those. And, of course, if you have Magatsu Wind in the soul, it gets plus 1,000. Whenever, okay, starting back with this effect. Whenever Magatsu Breath rides Magatsu Wind, you can look at the top seven cards to look for either Magatsu Storm or Magatsu Gale, which are the Grade 2 and Grade 3. It's going to be really helpful if you can go ahead and get them into your hand before in case you don't have them or if you just want extras. Either way, it's a good ability to have. And we'll go over Magatsu Breath after we get to the next card. So, and I also run three of the best card in the entire game. I mean, would you look, look, look at that art, look at that card art. Look at that card art. Wonderful. I run three of Metamorphox. When it's placed on a rear guard circle, if you have a Morikuma Vanguard, choose one of your lock cards and unlock it. Probably thinking that doesn't really do much for me, seeing that, uh, yeah, you're not going to always be up against Link Joker, but you will see later in the deck profile why that is there, why it's important. Won the games, strangely enough. Not talking about it anymore. And for the last grade one, or actually not the last grade one, the last one that's not a perfect guy, we run four Stealth Beast Million Rats. Stealth Beast Million Rat is a counter blast whenever it appears on a Vanguard or Rearguard circle, and I have a Morikuma Vanguard. You can pay the cost. If you do, search your deck for another Million Rat, call it a Rearguard. At the end of the turn, place it at the bottom of your deck. So most of them do this. So say you get out a Million Rat. That Million Rat calls a Million Rat. Because it, it appeared, it doesn't say you have to call it, but it appears again. It uh, You can counter blast once again, get another Million Rat. That way you can... Say you just put out want to put out one card from your hand, but still get off a little bit of decent damage early game. You can still call out those million rats and they'll boost or hit whatever you want to, then they'll go back. It's a great card to have and really good for the rushing. All right, now here is Stealth Dragon Magatsu Gale. Again, if Magatsu Breath is in the soul, power plus 1000. Now, for the effect of Magatsu Breath. Whenever Magatsu Gale rides it, if you have a card named Magatsu Wind in the soul, I can you can search for up to two cards named Stealth Dragon Magatsu Gale. Call them to rear and then shovel your deck. So basically, it does the same thing as Million Rat almost. So once you ride, you get to call two more Magatsu Gales, the two front row rear guards. And after the turn's over, then they go back to the bottom of the deck. Again, really good for rushing and hitting early damage. So we're going to run four of that, obviously. Next, I run, I believe, three or two. I think two. If two of Stealth Dragon Royal Nova, Royal Nova is a pretty good card since it is a 10,000 power, grade two. And whenever it attacks, it gets an extra power boost of 2,000. So a 12k hitter, which is really good. But if you don't have. Magatsu Storm or Magatsu Gale in your Vanguard Circle, it gets power minus 5,000, which means it's only going to be hitting for 7,000 if you don't have those units in your front. Don't look at that. Shh, it's okay. It's just a figment of your imagination, I promise. 
So you're going to always want to have those in the Vanguard or Rear Guard while you have this out. Otherwise, it's just going to sit there and do nothing. I also run Stealth Fiend Midnight Crow. Midnight Crow does the same thing as Million Rat. It's a really good card to have. And now, oh, I almost, I'm so stupid. I'm so bad at this. It's been forever. I forgot we need our uh, perfect guard. Actually, we'll take care of that towards the end because I use a special perfect guard. It's okay. Okay, so we run, of course, Covert Demonic Dragon, Magatsu Storm. Whenever Magatsu Storm arrives onto Magatsu Gale, you can search for one, you can search for two called Magatsu Storm, call them to separate rear guard circles to shovel your deck. They do the same thing. So same thing as Magatsu Gale. So Magatsu Storm has a limit break. Counter Blast 2, it gets plus 3,000 until the end of turn. Search your deck for two Magatsu Storms, call them to separate rear guard circles, shuffle your deck in the beginning, so it does the same thing again. So you can do that another time. So it's all about calling cards from the deck onto the field and sending them back to keep hand presence, which is really good. So you're always going to want to keep your hand presence on the field. Or not hand presence, you don't really want to have a hand presence, you want to have a hand go. Keep cards in hand to field things, and you know, stuff. Moving on. Next we have four of Covert Demonic Dragon Hayaki Vogue Reverse. So limit break four. Choose two of your Morikumo rear guards and lock them. Choose up to three of her units named Covert Demonic Dragon Hayaki Vogue Reverse and put those units and oh and those units gets plus ten thousand power. Counter plus two when it's placed on the Vanguard circle, you can pay the cost. If you do, you get to pull out two more of the Hayaki Vogue. This guy right here. This man, this this guy right here, yeah, that guy. You pull two more of those out of the deck and place them on two separate rear circles. And uh, so you can pull them out. Limit break is activated. You lock two. Get two thousand power. So your whole front row is at least twenty one thousand by themselves. And, oh yeah, by the way, I run, I just wrote the run. Four of them. I don't know why I said three. But that's what the Metamorphox is for. You say you've got a million rats and a midnight crow. Oh, you lock them. You've got two Metamorphoxes in hand. Call a Metamorphox behind your vanguard. Call a second one to the next slot over. Or no, wait, hold on. I just realized I'm stupid. But it's okay. Because we accept that I'm stupid. We accept. But you lock, let's say, a million rat and a Magatsu breath that are behind your two rear guards. Call Metamorphox behind your vanguard. Unlock million rat. Retire the Metamorphox to call a second one. Unlock Magatsu breath, hitting for more damage. It can boost your damage output by a good bit just by having a little fox with a tiny katana. That's all it takes nowadays. That's all it takes. And, uh... I run... I haven't actually put these in there, but I'm going to do them now. So I run this, and... Duh. Uh, my avatar, of course. I have to put it in like every deck. Also, I'm gonna read a card real quick, and depending on what that card says, it might go on this deck. When this unit attack hits a vanguard. Choose one of your two rear guards. Search your deck for up to one card with the same name as that unit. Call it to rear guard. Shuffle your deck. The unit gets this effect. Yeah. Yeah. I know what you're thinking. It's not clan specific. For some reason, a lot of the units from a lot of the new cards from G are not clan specific, which is really good, seeing that we can use them in other stuff. So this I can use when I hit. Call up, say I got a uh, million rat. I want another one. Do I have any counter blast? Pull this out. Hit with it. Pull out a second million rat to boost something else. It's that simple. And I believe that is going to be all for this deck profile today. Guys, remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if there's anything you want to see from us. Maybe a certain matchup like, I don't know, uh, 
Morikumo versus Mega Colony, because I mean those are the best ones ever. You ever see you wanna see that, just let me know. I got you, homie. Or some kind of crazy match that you've got an idea for, leave it down in the comment section below. That's all for today, guys. It's been Take Away here for Team Card Fighters United. I am out, probably. I'm probably out. Probably. <laughs>